Hello friend, I'm Smudgy and welcome to my guide on why does the Mona Lisa have such an enigmatic smile? Arguably the most famous portrait in the world, this is one of art's biggest questions and has been raging ever since it was painted in the first decade of the 1500s by Leonardo da Vinci. Have a look now and what do you think? Is it even a proper smile? Often the debate over the smile is da Vinci's use of a technique of fumato. Coming from the Italian fumio, da Vinci describes it as in the manner of smoke. The intention is to create blending between tones and create an atmospheric feel. If we zoom into the eyes and then down to the lips, we can see this blurring effect that creates a soft focus of uncertainty. But what is it that draws us from the eyes to the lips where our attention is held? How does da Vinci achieve the effect of making us focus on something that is out of focus? Well, let's look at the background scenery to either side of the Mona Lisa's head. To the right, the water is in the distance and flowing in a straight line. To the left, the water enters the foreground and has become a meandering stream. Put these two backgrounds side by side and your imagination tries to bridge the gap on how they join. How can they join? Is it even possible for them to join? We never see the join of the water, only the impossible smile of the Mona Lisa. The use of this seemingly impossible join is reinforced by da Vinci lower down. To the right there is a straight bridge and to the left is a swirling path. Put these two side by side and it becomes even harder to imagine how they join. So. Why does the Mona Lisa have an enigmatic smile? Well, I believe because of the impossible join of the background. But what do you think? Let me know in the comments below and leave a like if you agree and leave a dislike if you disagree. Until next time, I've been Smudgy and this has been my guide to the Mona Lisa. Thank you for watching and goodbye.